On September 29, 1901, a child was born, and his mother said, Enrico Fermi. He had an aptitude for physics and mathematics. Why don't you go play with your friends and have some fun? This is fun, Mom. <sighs> this later led to a four years doctor's degree in physics, which ended in 1922. Until 1926, he gallivanted around Europe. And by gallivanting Europe, we mean doing what smart people do. And by that, we mean physics. Delicious definition, make them boys go loco. They want my treasures, so they get their pleasures from my boat. So you can see me, you can't squeeze me. I ain't easy, I ain't sleazy. I got reasons why I tease them. Boys just come and go like seasons for delicious. But I ain't promiscuous. Enrico, guess what? What? I asked a girl on a date, and I got what would she say? Oh, no, of course, but at least I asked. Nice. Yeah. Dude, we're never gonna make girlfriends. No, but isn't it sweet I asked? Enrico had a good friend named Enrico Persisco. Surprisingly, in 1928, he got married to a nerd named Laura Capone. You're looking at me like you love my clothes or something. Sorry I'm late, guys. Yeah, it's bow time. Is this decaf? I'm only allowed to drink decaf, my mom said. For those who are a little forgetful, here's a quick summary. World War I, one of the largest wars in history, ended in 1918, followed by the stock market crash in 1929. World War II then began in 1939, and this just in, USA bombs Japan. I guess it's time for our weather. It go rain! Very informative. Thank you for the details. In other news, an art gallery is open at the local museum. Here is just a taste. And this is Channel 2 News. Thank you for joining us. Get out of here, you ruin everything! He had many accomplishments throughout his life. Most notably, he received the Nobel Prize for his work on artificial radioactivity produced by neutrons. He also created the name Neutrino. He was elected professor of theoretical physics in 1927 at the University of Rome and also heavily involved in the creation of the atomic bomb. He published many papers on various topics which mainly focused on the problem of the mysterious origin of cosmic rays. At many universities, he was always in high demand to speak. He also received an award for $50,000, which is now named after him for his work on the atom.